and Cherokee by blood uh, was made. The Cherokee freedmen, if they were not also Cherokee by blood, were not given allotment and thus were not part of the Dawes enrollment process. A lot of knowledge that's been erased. The fact that freedmen was never in my vocabulary. I never heard that in terms of a, of a designation of my family history. My father always talked about being of part Choctaw ancestry. But his father, who died in 1940, my grandfather, was on the roll as a Choctaw freedman. Uh, the last person in our family who died, who was on the Dawes Rolls, just died this year. She was 94. She was a Choctaw freedman newborn. And when I spoke with her, and whenever I would talk to her, she would always talk about, well, Grandma was Indian, of course, but she never, and I'm part Indian, but she never referred to herself as freedman. A lot of blacks don't know that they are Indians. And Why don't they know? Well, they've been told that they're... African-American and that they came from Africa, but that they're really been here in the United States as Indians. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're really uh, just giving false information from, from a historical point of view. A year and a half, a little over, almost a year and a half ago, because of all the thousands of people that I've met over my years, conversations with people that look like African-American people. And when you really get down to the knit and the grit of it and ask them, what's your ancestry? Oh, my, my grandma was a Cherokee or my great-great-grandfather was, I think he was a Seminole. You know what, brother? If you were to walk into any mosque in America and you just laid your hands on the first person or the third person or the fifth person that you see, you realize that you're laying your hands on a Native American? I believe there were only 8% of the slaves that came to America. So, how is it that there are so many more people that they claim are black or African American? I think they got the numbers wrong because a lot of Native Americans are the ones that they're counting as black folks too. 100 years later, the Negro is still languishing in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. Now, have you ever wondered what that passage meant from Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech? I did, and what I found was one of the biggest secrets that's not really a secret at all except to many African Americans is they are not descended from Africans. I know, I was shocked too, so much so that I asked Africans, and they agreed African Americans weren't Africans. If you don't believe me, Google Arnaldus Montanus America and see the people he saw in 1671. Read books like The Black American Handbook for Survival through the 21st Century by Raydine Amonra. What Every African American Should Know by Carrie Davis, and Africans and Native Americans by Jack Forbes. <laughs> I just can't believe schools aren't teaching this stuff. What a travesty.